to my channel royal glow here hey all right so as you may have guessed from the title of this video today we're going to be doing some customization on our ios 14 home screen now i don't personally own an iphone but my friend does and she downloaded the app the update yesterday and she's like there's nothing new here i'm like girl i got you she's like for real i'm like my name ain't williams but i'm for real okay so basically i like to tinker i really just like to to move things around i like to switch things up a lot so yeah case in point my instagram so you can check out my instagram feed yeah that's at royal glow underscore royal glow underscore check it out follow me and um yeah so actually if you'd like for me to do an instagram layout video as well just comment down below let me know that you want to see that so in this video i'm basically just going to pimp my friend's phone so just yeah. see how we take this phone from this to this and then finally to this keep watching so please do remember to like comment and subscribe all right let's get into the video Come and get it. You know the rest that you can do it. Mmm, I like that. Mmm, I like that. Royal glow. Can't you see that? First thing you're gonna wanna do is download iOS 14. Obviously, um, any of the stuff you're gonna see in this video, it won't work if you don't have iOS 14. So make sure you update to the latest um, OS. And uh, I'm sorry, if you have an iPhone 6, then um, you're not getting this update. But the iPhone SE 1 and also 2 also have it, so yay. All right, so after you download the iOS 14, first thing you need to do is just declutter. Remove any unnecessary apps apps that you don't use, apps that, you know, have just been cluttering up your homepage. So the great thing about this is now actually iOS 14 has an app drawer. Well, basically it's an app drawer like on Android um, where all of your apps are listed separately on the, on the last screen. If you just swipe over, swipe over, you'll finally see there's what they're calling a la app library and all of your apps are there. So what you do is you just press down on an app and when the options come up, you don't tap on delete, you tap on move to app library. And then that's it. So all of the apps that you don't need on your home screen, you don't need them taking up space, you don't use them every day, you can just move them over to the app library. They're still in your phone, but they're not taking up space on your home screen. All right, and trust me, you're gonna want to do this very, very well because yeah you'll see all right now before we get into the actual customization if you're worried about any organization you've done before maybe you've made like a bunch of folders well you don't need to completely destroy all of that just to have a pretty looking phone what you can do is move all of your folders over to one page and then you can just simply hide that page okay and then just refer back to it when you need it so you can long press, tap on the three dots at the bottom, and then just uh, uncheck the, the page that has all of your folders or all of your organization that you've made before. Okay, so now, the major change on iOS 14 that Android has had for a decade is the introduction of widgets, all right? so. Yeah, anyway, everyone made memes, it's okay, it's fine, it's fine, it's okay. The point is, iOS now has widgets, okay? So, uh, to begin with, you can just get the stock widgets, right? So that's things like weather, clock, battery, reminders. Just scroll through, like, okay, let's, let's go through it. Press down on the home screen, tap on the plus button in the corner, and then you can see it, right? Just scroll down this stack and then there's also the actual widgets. So, uh, let's go through it, all right? 
You can add just a couple of widgets, add them, add them, add them. And you can see it's already looking different, all right? If you combine that with your own wallpaper, it's already a vibe. You can stop there. Okay, so for the stock widgets, um, you can just move it around however you like, play around with it. And also another thing you can do is make a stack, okay? So you can either go directly and press down, tap on the plus button and just tap directly on stack. That brings basically a carousel of some widgets. Or if you want to make a stack, a whole new stack by yourself, you can just place already existing widgets on top of each other. So you just press down again on any widget and then you place it on top of another one and then you can place another one on top of that and then you have a stack, okay? You can scroll through it, so play around with it, have fun with it. You can do that with the stock widgets, you can do that even with, the, um, with any extra widgets you may make. You've really done some customization. You've managed to make your phone look different from somebody else's, which is the point of customization, right? But should I stop here? My mind's telling me yes, okay? My mind's telling me yes, but the glow, the glow is telling me no. What you're gonna need is three apps, okay? The first app is Widget app. The second app is Color Widget. And then the third app is Pinterest, if you don't already have Pinterest, because that's where you're gonna get all your pictures. All right, and by the way, just stay until the end of the video because I'm going to give you some apps that make use of the iOS 14 widgets. And also I'm just going to share with you like my favorite feature or two. All right, so make sure you stay until the end. Okay, let's open up Widget Smith. You can basically choose, uh, okay, yours will look different in the beginning, but I'll show you how I set that up, okay? So there's a small widget, a medium size widget, and also a large widget, okay? So if you tap on any one of them, I'll start with the small widget. Um, the default widget, you can either have just the date, the day, month or date. You can have a photo, you can have a whole album, you can have your calendar or reminders. The weather though, you can't, that's a premium, um, feature so you'd have to pay I'm not sure how much you can just check in the settings you'd have to pay to get the okay now the second app color widget is really for the aesthetics um, basically it's it's just for your battery percentage which is really awesome and then the dates and the time okay so also if you wanted to do a to-do list by the way you can also do that in the first app the widget smith okay so what you're going to need to do is pick an aesthetic. As you can see here, we're very pink. So she likes Louis Vuitton, she likes pink. So basically the theme here is pink, girly, bougie, okra, 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 okay. Pick a theme, All right. pick an aesthetic, whatever you like, whether it's boho chic, whether it's browns, whether you like Avengers, whether it's superheroes, anime, pick your aesthetic all right and then you can just download all of those pictures that go with your aesthetic that's where Pinterest comes in okay so for me I just searched pink aesthetic you can search pink aesthetic pink cartoon pink whatever whatever goes with the aesthetic just look for pictures in that realm you know the world is your oyster well Pinterest is your oyster and then just download all of those because you're gonna need a bunch of pictures to to make this work okay now this is the part where it gets real it gets very very time consuming but I always say if you're going to spend money on something you should really enjoy it and these things cost a hell of a lot okay so you better enjoy it and also you spend like a good amount of your day, if not half your day, they spend staring at the screen. So you better enjoy looking at it, right? <laughs> All right, so yeah, um, this is where the app customization comes in. We're going to change up the cover 
of the icon so you don't just have you know the normal everything is green blue green for the cola app blue for app store no we're gonna make it yours it's gonna go with the aesthetic so if your aesthetic is boho your icons are gonna go boho if your aesthetic is pink your icons are gonna go pink you with me? Need to go right. into shortcuts so you can swipe down from the screen. Now I already have some because I started creating this. It takes a lot of time, so I'd start creating some. But to create a new shortcut, you go into the plus button at the top, and it says new shortcut and add action. Tap on that, and then you can search for open app. Okay, that's the action that you need. Open app because that's what you want this shortcut to do. Then you choose which app you want it to open, okay? So I'm just going to choose one for demonstrations purposes. Tap on the three dots in the top right corner. Tap on the three dots. Name it, you repeat it again. The same name, whatever name you want to call your app. If you want to call it the same or you just want your things new and different. And then choose photo, all right? You can tap on the little icon and then tap on choose photo now your whole app library is open to you that's when all of those pictures that you just downloaded pink boho avengers anime whatever that's when you can start to use them okay so you select your photo and then tap add and then done it's added to your home screen repeat so make shortcuts i just made shortcuts for all of the first pages and then we're gonna move everything over like i said this is why you need to make sure you've decluttered everything because imagine you have 50 apps you're gonna have to do this for 50 now apps. you can't have app store and app store shortcut and facetime and facetime shortcut so we're gonna remove the actual apps and just keep the shortcut with the icon that we just created so once you've done that this is what it's looking like okay it's looking pretty it's looking pretty it's looking pretty okay all right so that's basically what we're going to be doing you just repeat obviously there's a lot of customization you can do in color widget and um in widget smith so you just pick what works for you you okay. can change up if this is all looking like too much it's too much effort it's too time consuming then what you can simply do is just like organize your home screens according to colors so for example apps like uh, phone and messages and whatsapp those are all green so you could have them all on one page and then apps like maybe youtube pinterest instagram those are kind of like red pinkish orange you put them all on another page so you have like a rainbow effect all right and you don't need to change every single icon cover now let's yeah. go into my favorite features and the apps that you use iOS 14 as promised you made it to the end so you get to hear this okay so my favorite features are actually the the back tap that's actually my one favorite feature go into settings scroll down to accessibility and then you go to touch and then back tap and then you can select okay I'll first set it to the control center because it's really annoying trying to get the control center in the top corner you know so okay anyway let's just do the example okay so double tap on the back of your phone and it even works with the case okay double tap and look at that the control center comes down so now you can check your battery things like that really easy or let's go in again and we can change the double tap to a screenshot okay and again double tap and it's taking a screenshot okay You've made it this far into the video. Have you subscribed? It's the red button. Subscribe. This is a third party app called TuneTrack, but basically it's a widget for Spotify. And then there's motivation, so you can get your daily quotes. It flips through. For some reason, iOS has to open the shortcuts app first before it opens up whatever shortcut you have it set to. So, for example, if I was to open up, Google it will first Go to shortcuts then open Google. Okay, whatever app you tap on any of these icons that we just made these shortcuts if you tap on it It will first run the shortcuts app. So Yeah, but you know, it just depends. Well, what do you want more? Yeah, the the pretty setup or that 
extra one second of quickness so yeah anyway it's always up to you like I said if you don't like all of this if it's even too much work just to do then again you can just set it up by color just have a rainbow home screen and it will still be quite aesthetic match it up with your widgets and you'll be good all right so I hope you found this video useful and if you do end up using any of the things I mentioned in this video then please do feel free to tag me like I want to see it you know what's your interpretation of it is it pink and bougie is it you know whatever it is I'd love to see it so feel free to tag me on Instagram at royal glow underscore or if you're on Twitter you can also tag me there at just royal glow all right so do enjoy and glow grow and get it bye Royal glow, can't you see that glow? Yeah. Fine like gold, she's so sweet and carry yeah. yeah, Majestina, African melanin queen. Every man she 